think she's after it, but I'm kind of severely wounded right now. I'm in a lot of pain. And I would heal, but I super. No, no, don't, don't heal me. I don't want to get burned again. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, like... Looks as puzzled as the mimic about what just happened to her master's side. Check up on him. I'm a master, you okay? <laughs> I'm I'm fine. Just a little wounded. I'll be fine in a moment though. As you can see my wounds slowly healing up. I and raise brow questionably. <laughs> I wonder if the mimic that had I've seen that thing to begin with. Cause it looks very confused. <laughs> Clearly there was something wrong with what he was saying. I don't understand it, but it sounded wrong. Hmm. Cause it sounded celestial, but it wasn't quite it. Huh? What it was speaking, yelling at us. Let me see. Sound it. Wait, what is? What was it that? Okay, I know. Primordial, draconic, elvish, common. Yeah. At this point in time, you've seen most of my wounds closed up, and I'm mostly healed, besides the scarring of where the paladin tried healing me earlier. Still, I'm curious about that, but nah. Sarah's headmaster very concerned. I mean, happy, but very distraught at all the changes. Uh, I think it might be a good idea that we uh, go back to camp and you two finish up your resting. I just want to get out of this forest. This forest is full. I really wish I had to see if we could talk to that guy that was with the carriage and see if he would have let uh, given us a ride back the other way he was coming. I think we would have been out of there so far. Well, I'm just happy. Like <laughs> thing is. Well, I'm I'm feeling fine again. We're out of the forest. Y'all can go finish up your rest. I'll keep watch. Or not. Is our master very concerned? Well, actually, it's day. I don't think we have time to rest now. We should really get moving on to that next town. Possibly. Anywhere away from this forest. As you wish, master. Yeah. Uh, we Chloe kind of points to the uh, to the mimic. I think he needs to be fed first, unless um we want a hungry mimic on our hands. The morning breeze with the sun. The mimic grows hungry. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, Sam reaches into the 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 amount that she had, takes a little piece out and a chunk out, and, and feeds it to the mimic. Um, wait, Axel, did we get any sleep or not? I mean, y'all you you got some short rest. <laughs> Who's a good boy? <laughs> I think a smiling mimic would be terrifying to see. Yeah, that's why. I, I, yep, I'm not even gonna lie. I literally got quiet because I was like, the imagery well, Sam thinks it's adorable. <laughs> I think Chloe just kind of looks anywhere else right now, just like, 
Yeah, I don't think I need that in feel for today. And you make such a sweet adventure uh, spirit. Are you are you sure you don't want to talk, Axel? Yeah, that's the golden question here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, never. All right, come on, chop chop, pack up camp. We must go get to next town. No, oh, please. So I gotta find a good combo between the two. <laughs> you don't say. The problem is the typing is so loud. It's fine. I'm sure the typing is not the end of the world. It's so loud. Yeah, yeah, but Chloe it says it. It, it, it gets pretty loud once I start hammering away at like those ones. That's all right. Some That's of them I won't have to do too much, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And you know, Chloe gets some eat some of the. Wait, does. Is there was there still fire enough that you know she can cook something at least food at least a piece of meat? Mm. Axel? Yes. Okay. So if I can cook some light meat, and then she's gonna be comical in it. So let's start the day off with some fun rolls. Oh boy. Yep, I cooked the fucking best meat, didn't I? Damn it. Can't spell your character's name. Chloe. So many ways to spell Chloe. There's an H right there. So it's slowy. So it's slowy. Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants. I'm just saying, that's why I says like, I can't spell it. Yeah, so she's just like, yeah. and she's just like, uh, it's good. It's good. And she kind of uses Ray of Frost to put out the fire. Can I just go with that? Because she's just like, I'm too tired of trying to find a way to, to put out a fire. I swear to gosh, if you have me rolled for this fire, this is gonna be hilarious. And, um, she kind of waves back, she waves back at the gnome, and she's like, wait, hey, wait, 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 um, I, wait, is he in a cart, in a carriage? As well as which way is he heading? Ah. Um, she kind of stops him for a bit and asks him, um, how far is to the nearest town? If I may ask. Why, hello, lassie. <laughs> the place, nice to meet ya. Well, I wouldn't know where the closest town would be, you know. I came from quite a far away away. I'm, uh, I'm a bard by trade. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Um, I'm just asking because me and my com uh, comrades are been traveling for a few days. I see. Yes. 
And I was wondering if you knew how far the next town was, since you've been traveling some ways. Well, the town I came from is quite a ways away. And I, uh, I haven't made many stops. Luckily, being a bard, I can, uh, pick up food and money where I need to along the way. No need to yeah. stop. Maybe at a random inn on the road. But, uh, no, I, I generally tend to avoid bigger towns. Some of the constabularies there don't quite enjoy my subtle tones. Of course it is with each, uh, with being a small person. Definitely yeah. has some mistakes about Small prejudice everywhere. I know, right? <laughs> Damn big people. I know, right? Look, looks angrily at the two genasi. Hey. <laughs> and then what stares in horror about? at the mimic. <laughs> Yes, uh, we're a very fl a weird set of bunch, but I'm that you are, lassie. Yes, I'd just like to know. Uh, I mean, this last time you passed, when, where was it? You know, how far was <laughs> it? From Probably a good ten days, minimum. <laughs> But it's, once again, I was going quite a long ways. You could probably find a closer town. I am just not the one to be asking here. I will say that this road only goes, as far as I can tell, uh, to the east for uh, several days journey. Then it splits, and I believe there are towns near there. But I came actually off from off of the road. I came through the forest from the north. And that's that's at least ten days' journey to the town I came from, north of the forest. Yeah, there was an inn not in the, the forest. Trees. <laughs> not the trees. <laughs> oh, don't worry. The forest I'm talking about is just trees made of bones. Oh, trees! You know it. Yeah, there's still trees though. Pats her mess. It's okay, mess. Yeah, he's had a bad time with trees. She kind of whispers to him. It's okay. Me too. Uh, uh, my father killed a tree once. <laughs> oh dear. But it got better, and then it, and then it wouldn't leave us alone. Uh, of course. It's still in the front yard. Uh, of course. Damn Roto Rooter. Thank you. Thank. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Yes. You have a good one. Uh, would you happen to know if the town coming up is uh, is a nice town? I could really use a nice break. It, it was a nice town. My cousin used to work in that town. She looks at Billy and is like, don't you dare tell him a thing. Like, no. I mean, I don't know if it's as nice I'm gonna, as you I'm gonna, it. I almost want to make him, make people roll to see if he gets that look and if you perform it well enough for him to get it. Because you're literally just, like, shooting him a look across the fucking conversation. Like, don't you dare sw uh, tell this nice man about how it, um, was a very inter interesting set of people. Yeah, how yeah, was like, it? Tell uh, me, please. It's very interesting. They, um, are very lively. Definitely interesting. Definitely magic in the air. Oh, that's good. Yes. I don't know exactly how it looks now, though. What was that? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Oh, good, 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 good. Well, I'll be yeah. off then. I need to get. Uh, I need to get on my journeys. Yes, but it's yes, been yes, a pleasure I talking to you. Yes, so I won't hold you anymore. If you happen to see us again on the road later, tell us what the town was. Oh, I will. I'm sure I'll love it. And uh, he walks into the distance. People, chop, chop, let's go. We have traveling to do. At least we got a better idea. So there's a seven-day trip to get down this road, and then it splits, and which there should be towns nearby. So that we're good. We're at least got a seven-day trip. How much food do we have? Four? Five, four and a half, five days worth of food, maybe? Yeah, so we're gonna get close. Kinda get close by a lot. So definitely we best to yes, just get let's get a starting going. And she you do know which way we're going though, I have to ask before we are hitting the road. We're following the road! Well, hopefully we're going away from beef 
him another piece of meat. Yes. Mimic, she kind of points to that mimic and just says, That is weird. How does it go from. I understand it. I get it. Okay. But okay. Onward. And she does head on, you know, go on the path that's heading away from the town we've just. At least we have a good estimate, though. That's the nice thing. <laughs> you know, you could just say it. Never! <laughs> so much stuff to say. So much stuff to say. Ah. Anyway, the the party begins to travel, whatever or in whatever order they travel. Make a roll for the first day. D one D one hundred. Yep. Higher low. Uh. Well, I already rolled. Well, so. yep. That's why I'm giving you the option. Uh. Let's go. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go high. Hi. Oh goodness. Yep. All right. Uh, see, how do I? Okay, so then that's right. All right, that's what I was gonna switch to. There we go. All right, these are these look nice. We'll get these up and running for a little bit here. That's ridiculous there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ah. All right. Uh, as you are traveling along the road, a goblin on fire runs shrieking past the party. <laughs> From here, basically, to here. After seeing that a little bit. Well, obviously. I mean, yeah, you can do whatever you want. He's already ran off into the forest. Uh, he basically, I... there was a tree, and there was nothing, and then suddenly you heard... Ah! Okay. And he was gone. Okay, I could have helped him put out that fire, but okay. She kind of just... Know. It also could have been food for the mimic. <laughs> I mean, does he like to roast it a goblin? I think he likes just about anything that... Yeah, that is accurate. That is a... Look at Rick's mouth. Isn't that right, baby? <laughs> he definitely is. Chloe's just looking away, trying not to see the mimic smile. She's just like, yeah, okay. Uh, mental note, definitely feeding whatever he likes. Just not me. Just because I'm short does not make me instant food. <laughs> Keep in mind, I am probably the only one here that can heal. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Well, as long as the mimic is fed, he seems to be happy. Yes. We just have to make sure that there's an abundance of food. <laughs> should we keep going, or should we try to um, feed that thing to the... I ran by... <laughs> I, I I don't think that uh, burnt goblin would taste very well even to a mimic. Um, I also don't think that we should investigate where that goblin came from. I, uh, let's just uh, continue on our road to the next town. Yes, master. It's 
okay, maybe go find you more food. I also have some left. So we're moving on? Yes, we are moving on. All right, the adventurers continue their journey for a second day without taking a night to rest. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. The, the adventurers continue the rest of their day and make it a full, uh... Give me a moment and I will show you where you get to and what you can see. Forest, hey. Look at that. Oh no, there's forests on both sides. You're in the middle of, but there you're on the road though. Like there's forests on both sides, but this is a nice road. Remember, this road can have carts going both ways. I mean, that's that's nice and all, but still trees on both sides. Anyway, uh, it is now the night time, or becoming night. I say we rest, make camp, and then continue our adventure in the morning to the next town! <laughs> As you wish, Master. Uh, help set up camp, make sure that the mimic is nice and comfortable. Who's um, um, how are we gonna rest tonight? I will take watch. I am not yet tired. Wait, what did I miss? Tired master? <laughs> Sucked for days. Could have fooled me. I feel like I had a good night's rest, even though I haven't rested. I mean, I've been pointed this out that it's kind of weird that he's not tired or sleepy, and he's clearly not showing any signs of being an undead. Trust me, if I really was a dead undead, I would have pointed it out. And as much as the ideal of smiting him is hilarious on its own, I don't think I would do that to anyone here. Not unless I really am asking to make, you know. I guess I'll try my perception or something like that to see if I notice anything that'll help me determine what's up with him. 15. And what are you doing there? I'm basically like trying to take a good look at him to see if I can figure out why is he so different. Like the reason for him. Other than the stuff that she listed. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah, unfortunately. You have no clue. Yeah, he, he seems seems about the same, except for all the visual differences and the fact that he doesn't remember shit. He does seem a little weird from time to time. Hmm. I mean, swinging emotions, all that fun stuff. He's got some weird habits now, like the tree stuff. He's scared of trees, you noticed. And that he's, he seems to like just do weird stuff sometimes, like scratch himself in weird spots. But then again, he's a guy, so that doesn't strike you as all that weird. I forget, what is Arcana for again? Is it to look back on knowledgeable shit? Uh, I think Arcana is basically magic. Okay, okay, never mind. Okay, um... I know she has... What is that thing? That's sage. Unless it is sage. Or she studied a lot. Uh, that is a, a sage thing. With okay. No studying. So is that, would that be what I would have used for my perception, or does it use for me on my past knowledge? Uh, it just depends on things. It's usually, the thing is, because you're, you know, we're in D&D, &D, it's very rough to, like, determine past knowledge. That's what your arcana role basically is, is saying, did you study this in life? Ah. <laughs> It's, can I have studied, uh, can I see if I had studied anything that involved his current symptoms? Sure. Would that be Arcana, or would that be something else? Could be Arcana, could be religion, just depends on the nature of it. 
or medicine. Could also be medicine. It could be a disease. Could be magic, religious, or a disease. Technically, could be science too. Maybe the the gnomes replaced him with a robot. <laughs> Robo Velios online. Oh, wait, no, he's French. Robo Velios online. Also a terrible French accent. Well, I have decent arcana first. So I'll try that first. <laughs> See if I can do this. That failed. Twenty. And that was still. Really, really, Axel. God damn it. Pay attention. Yeah, my internet kind of momentarily crapped out. Oh, of course it did. What is... What is that again? Oh, right, that's gonna appear. Oh, okay. So we're going down for the night, yes? Did we figure out watch order or just doing values for one long run i was gonna do a long rest if i can but before i did try the arcana to see if i had could recognize anything and i got a 20. uh as you're 20 it doesn't seem like there's any magic involved in this kind of, uh, you know, condition that he seemed to have contracted or come across. Hmm. Let me think, let me think. Can I do it again for something else? Oh. That was really fucking weird. My Could Discord disconnected me and then said that I was connected at another location. It wouldn't let me reconnect until I went and joined a channel and came back here. Oh. Anywho. Hopefully you're yeah. not getting hacked or something. I hope uh -oh. not. No. Alright. Anywho. Okay, now the next on the list, I think. <laughs> not to zero. Five. Okay, no. <laughs> I tried. Okay, time for sleep. <laughs> yeah, and she's just like, I wouldn't press too much on it, because trust me. We'll see if we can find someone that knows better than us. I mean, he's clearly not turning into an undead. And, but still, it's weird symptoms he's having. Very true. Trust me, I have tried. I did that. That was the other day, yesterday. That was mm -hmm. when I checked to see if he was an undead, and he clearly wasn't. Hmm. And trust me. Sad Sam seems sad. <laughs> Goes to a little corner to rest for the night. Yeah. It was her turn. Check. We keep an eye out. Yeah. So she does get some sleep. So, we're just taking the night then with Felios at watch? Yep. So to expediate, and for the future when you do watches, every person who goes on watch does a roll. So if you switch, you would do a different person. You do the roll for three hours worth of a watch. So even if you're the same person on roll, in three hours you have to watch. So basically you have to do three rolls a night. You're rolling your D100. Yep, yep, yep. You know what? I'm going to do it this way. And I'm going to say uh, high, high, low. All right. A 
So that's a 54, a 23, and a 53. Yep, I was just doing stuff in my head for my mouth, okay. In the middle part of your shift, you hear a rustling in the bushes. Looks like we might be about that time anyway. Which is weird, because it's earlier than usual. Oh, well, she, he just got home, so it's not time for that. No. Anyway, yeah, so you hear something about halfway through the night coming from the bushes. Heard something in the bushes. Oh, wait, is Michael still in here? What's up? Oh, yeah. You heard something halfway through your shift in the bushes, but that's it. Okay, um, I'm going to use my perception to see if I uh, can discern exactly where in the bushes it's coming from. And if I can see anything in that direction. <laughs> nope. Sorry, I'm just checking a bunch of damn fucking trying to find numbers for this appropriate stuff, but... So you're gonna check it uh, with a seven? Yep. No pluses, huh? Yeah. Yep, no plus to uh, perception. Yeah, you don't know what it was. You just heard a noise. Who the hell knows? Who cares? <laughs> That's basically the way we're... Yeah, yeah. Welcome back. It's good to have you back, Diffie. Thank you. It's good to be back. What a miss. Um, heard uh, Valia through some wrestling and um, couldn't check uh, check it out for nothing. Give me a jizz for a little bit. Just. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be a little bit more on alert since I uh, heard the rustling. As well as the other night. What about the other night? I mean, you did get tagged in the middle of the night. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I know, oh, but it's bad. by something that pretty much seems to be something that anyone knew. It just sounds wrong. Great to sleep out of character thing. Somehow in your hearts of hearts, you know Catharis would have known it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, gosh, shut it. Just all of you that just suddenly feel that feeling for no reason. Especially, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, do we even remember who Catharis is? I thought we it doesn't that. matter. You still feel it. <laughs> I yeah. think probably Chloe is the only one that remembers. <laughs> Chloe is the only one that remembers. <laughs> That's the worst part. Chloe is the only one that remembers. Even the mimic somehow knows. I'm just saying. <laughs> we can still taste his leg. <laughs> My bones. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. Unless Michael does anything else, the night passes. All right. Nope. Not really doing anything else. Just yeah. keeping watch. So, so for future reference, if I don't say that anything happens, nothing's happened, and it is progressing as regularly. So it'll be the next day once you finish your rolls, unless I'm like, hey. 
<laughs> Roll for initiative. Pretty much. <laughs> like, I might say something's in the bushes and you can investigate or do this or that. But that doesn't mean you're necessarily in an encounter. You could even just say, okay, and then just keep going and say, all right, it's day. Or say, I wake up. Because I'm basically basing those on the rolls. I'm not going to just suddenly be like, in the counter. I don't have a random encounter prepared for you. They're random. Super random. Anyway, your guys' turn next day. What you doing? Um, definitely getting to vote. Slowly wakes up, yawns, plops on Belius. <laughs> yep, it's one of those days where she's just like, eh. So she kind of looks over at Belius. Anything interesting? Hello? Michael? Belius. I think somebody killed him in the middle of the night. Oh dear. It does happen. Unless he muted himself again and didn't, doesn't realize it. Probably. Mm hmm. It does say he's in here, but. Nope, there it goes. Disconnected. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, well, we're gonna assume that he cannot speak. Unable to speak. Hey, pretty much. I think my Discord is just being stupid tonight. Ooh. Only half awake, Sam curls up next to Vale and sneezes. I knew what was up with my Discord right now. That's nah, fine. Mm. You're fine. Did he turn it off and on again? <laughs> she's not wrong. Yeah, she's <laughs> not wrong. That is not wrong. I don't know why it's just my Discord, because at first I thought it was my internet, but Netflix never stopped playing. Hmm. Well, to be fair, Netflix is, is like medium gauge. I think it is Discord, though. Discord always fucks with me, so you don't gotta tell, try to convince me that it's Discord. Discord sometimes just decides, you know what, fuck you. <laughs> it's like, you suck, and you suck, and you suck. Everyone just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why does everyone suck so much? Uh, speaking of, uh, I got about 20 minutes left, so if we want, we can continue our fast travel. I think you guys will mostly be able to make it out of there without too much trouble. Well, I'm not hungry. I'm not tired. I'm feeling fine. My wounds are mostly healed, besides the scarring from the burning. So, and, I, and I'm just like, okay, I said I was sorry. Because, shoot, that is definitely weird. Because beforehand, it worked. In his mind, he was... just say sorry to my scars. Okay, geez. She just says sorry to scars. <laughs> I just imagine just... Chloe actually saying, I'm sorry, scars. Jeez, I'm, you know, I didn't mean to. You know, you're being a real jerk holding a grudge about it. <laughs> I'm the reason you exist. <laughs> you wouldn't even be around if it weren't for me, Scars. I like Chloe's character. She's just like, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> anyway. She's like, okay, you know what? Would, 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 it, would it make it better if I just we get to the next town and drinks on me? I don't know if he hear you, so that you can't. He's either died again or he didn't hear you. I think he died again. Oh my nope. fucking There God. he is. Oh no. Yeah. I heard him, but I think he's cutting in and out probably. God damn it all to hell! <laughs> I love it because we're getting the greatest parts of it. Just... <laughs> yep, 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 that is that's the best thing. But yeah, she's just so, let's, so let's, 
I, you know, I don't even know anymore. We could always call it here. This is a nice two and a half thing. We got an encounter in. We got somewhere down the road. And as well as got some more information. Yep, you know where you're going now. As well as... As well as now, um, Chloe isn't convinced, probably not it. He's not a dead, but he's definitely something's off. As well as, what the heck was that thing that we ran into the other night? And she was like, so had a peaceful watch? Yeah, peaceful. There was a little bit of rustling in the bushes, but nothing uh, outside of that. Nothing too crazy about that? Out of out of uh, character, it was Dave the Dagger throwing dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was. Just to keep our characters accurate and consistent throughout the series. <laughs> uh, of course. Anyway, he lost his daggers. Of he course, he did. He threw them too far. Yeah. Anyway, another day of it? travel. Who's in the lead? Who's in the behind? Who's gonna roll? That's basically what determines it. I mean, if he had lost the deck? I'm... I... I don't, I don't, I don't want to be lead anymore. Someone else take lead. Yeah, she... Yeah, okay. Um... Tiny Midget does it after she gets some food in her. And I'm guessing roll for the food being cooked, right? Yep, unless you want to just cook the rest of the food. Probably be uh, easier to store anyway. It's been a couple days. The meat knife might not last in raw form much longer. Yeah, there. okay, so how many pieces are left? Uh, well, you started with, what, four days, five days worth of food? It's been two days, so we'll say three days worth of food. Probably need at least two or three pieces a day. So we'll say you have about ten pieces left. I don't know how much Divi has, though. She's been feeding a lot to the mimic. No, I've only fed him, like, three times since, and then they're all been, like, portioned off. Left. So, 18, 14, 10, that's a two. You never told me specifically how much meat I had, because I had two good portions. Yeah, yeah two half portions, and he wolf. 10, D, 20, minus one... I love that. That's the one thing about it. Like, granted, it doesn't feel as cool as actually rolling 10d20 in real life. Yeah. But it's a lot easier in this form. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. So, uh, I assume those are all the rolls. It looks like you basically cooked all of them except for the fourth and the eighth one to a eatable standard. So those ones are actually so dark and burned, the ones that you got three on, that uh, you, you just can't quite eat those. Oh, it looks it for the mimic? Yeah. I mean, probably, like, yeah, I think he'll eat about anything. Yeah, she yell, gives them. gave them. gave it to him. <laughs> yeah, she just gives them to uh, Sam. Just said, here you go, just keep the smiling mimic away from me. <laughs> Damn, it doesn't prove. Uh, uh, nods and thinks. Thank you so much. Yay. All right. So, who. And so, just to clarify, fast. Or what we're going to call fast travel, but long travel is basically what it is. Is, uh. And you, you could technically do them in stints, but the problem is then you hit an encounter and you have to stop anyway. So, uh. Basically, you move about two squares a day because of the size of these squares or, and the terrain, the way the mountain is basically set. Even though you're on a road, it's still not a good road. You know I mean? It's like a road that still has hills and rocks on it and shit and, you know, holes and dips and bullcrap. And I believe, unless you're doing forced march, I mean, you can do different speeds, but since no one's set speeds, I'm basically setting you at about uh, 30 miles a day, which is, these squares are basically 15 miles a piece. Blah, 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 blah. You can move faster or shorter using long travel stuff if you want to look it up. And 
uh, the leader of the party is the one, whoever's in the front of the party during travel is the one who has to roll for encounter chance. You roll once per day, and we're going to actually switch it up to uh, once per night in this area. So who wants to be the leader? <laughs> Um, not it. Not damn it, I really want to keep playing. You know what, I'm probably okay. just going to stay up late. Right. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. Because I got to take a nap before my fucking shift tonight at 1, but... Meh. I'll go and okay. tie I don't do shit. <laughs> I just drop okay. machinery. Oh, alright. Okay. So, give me uh, just a moment. Okay. Oh, so, that's interesting. Oh, give me a moment again, because I got good news and bad news. Uh-oh. Oh, none of it's really bad news. Come on. It's d and we're playing here. And I'm about to put these things back up to, uh, pull these to the end. And since you rolled that, uh, roll one more D100. And anyone can roll this one. Alrighty. Hopefully it's just burning your little... Hopefully it's... As you're traveling down the road, you encounter a monk, a monkey, a turtle, and a pig. All heading west. Of course. Of course. Did you actually add mythology to this? What? No, I didn't add this. This is random. Don't worry about it. I know what that's random. <laughs> yeah, I know you know the reference. It's fine. Everyone knows the reference for that one, or they should at least. I hope they know. Anyway. <clears throat> reference for what? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You get it, you get it. No, see? Um, kind of love this. This is a good one. This is a good one. But yeah, they're they're chilling there and they're uh, they're looking at you. They're smiling and uh, the monk looks over at Delios and winks and they keep walking. <laughs> what? You just got one. I'm so confused. What? What did he just do? Just do. How dare they wink at my master? <laughs> And she just smiles and just laughs. Now that is worth it. That was worth it. Valios winks Valios. back at him. Hey! <laughs> this is a conversation I'm not in the middle of. Anyway, that whatever you guys want to do. Like I said, if I don't say anything afterwards, they didn't do anything to you, that was your encounter. You did roll an encounter, that doesn't mean it was bad. It just means it was an encounter. <laughs> oh yeah, that, 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 I will take that. that I will take for So we'll say you guys got a couple more steps on your journey, and it is now approaching nighttime. That's how I'll try to keep you accosted of things going on. I'll move your, char your character on the field and stuff. But yeah, it is nighttime. I need to get like a moon or something that I can disappear. Yeah. <laughs> like a filter. I need I need more art for the channel. No. No, no. The problem is map art is like very specific stuff. Like this is a, a shit map, but like there's some really nice D&D &D maps, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they're not like super expensive, but I'm cheap as hell. <laughs> I'm a cheap whore. Makes sense. Yeah. I don't want to spend money either. I'll, I'll get some eventually. The other thing being, like I said, impromptu. So I want it to be random and, and weird and interesting. Speaking of, uh, it's somebody's turn to, to do something. I think it's pretty much Nightwatch. Whoever's taking Nightwatch will have to make their rolls. Uh, I guess that'll be me, because I don't need rest. Yeah, pretty much. We don't need no rest today. So I'm taking night watch. Y'all have a good sleep. If anything happens, I'll wake you with a starling screech. If not that, Just hear something, out whatever the heck. Or a loud thud. Thud Just works too. Thud. Anyway, 
Uh, speaking of that, it's the night watch, so we uh, changed it up to one a night. Alrighty. And I believe... God, I need to get a calculator for this or get a chart for myself. That's what it is. So we already know that, so if it's times that... Okay, so yeah, anything above that is that. Okay, yeah, you're good. Nothing happens during the night. You don't even hear a rustle in the bushes. The mimic is starting to look uh, not too happy, though. Uh, I feed him another portion that I said that. Uh... All right, so how big is a portion? I don't know. <laughs> All right. You have to determine how much you're feeding, because when I was telling you a portion before, it was like a half of a wolf, not like a little piece. So that was so how I many know. portions you had cut into, yeah. or you had two but, things. Uh, but she just gave me the meat that she had. Uh, so you're going to do those two oh, portions? Okay. So the mimic looks visibly happier, but it's still growling. Um promises him that I will search for in the uh, the mimic uh, looks at Velios no don't even <laughs> master's not food <laughs> the mimic looks back at you no I'm not food either <laughs> I swear to God, if it looks at me, it's getting, it, it already knows what happened. The mimic looks hungry. Aww. It, it looks sad. Throws a rock at the area where stuff has been wrestling. <laughs> well, that was like yesterday. Oh, okay. I thought it happened again. No, no not this time. Unfortunately. It is daytime now. All right. I really need um, a day and a so night button. I'm gonna automate some stuff for the next one, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, looks around to see if I could find food. Is that a mimic? Sounds good. Uh, you're gonna need to use either nature or survival, I think we determined, right? Something about those two? Um, like I said, I, I hate using their definitions, but now that I have them, I feel like I have to. I don't. But I man, even God has to follow rules guess. sometimes, man. Oh. Ah, oh, oh, oh! You you fall over. Oh. Into a big pile of bushes. You don't hurt yourself, because you weren't doing anything really dangerous. But you basically, like, get to the edge of the road and trip over a stick. <laughs> It was it was in a it was in the tall grass, but still. Are are you all right? The, um, mi the mimic also looks concerned. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Just looking for food. Uh, I'll get some. Uh, Chloe's just like, um, you sure? Yeah, I'm okay. I think pats myself. <laughs> Off uh, all the stuff off of me, and then I guess get yeah. <laughs> okay. promise. Okay, eighteen. All right, so you're doing another check. Yeah. All righty. Let's see what's going on. I uh, it seems like there's a lot of activity in the forest around here. There's like lots of tracks around. There's lots of uh, animal droppings that you can see. <laughs> You know, there are just signs that there are animals pretty heavily around in the area. Are there any signs that I could tell that? <laughs> Not. <laughs> uh, do you see that there are tracks for like what seem to be rabbits and maybe some wolves and maybe a deer? Mm -hmm. I guess I'll try to go after the deer. <laughs> Alrighty, so the deer is uh, this direction. The tracks seem to be leading, and that's about what you can tell right now with your current check. Alright, um, I told the others that I was that I'm gonna go. 
look for food and I think I, I spotted deer tracks. So I'll be back. Alrighty. So now I need you to roll a d100. Okay, now I need you to roll a d20 again with your nature of survival. Oof. Seriously. So, uh, you enter the forest, and uh, you get to right about here, let's say, and you don't see the deer, but you do see a bunny sitting in some uh, shrubs. Why am I so worried about that? Alright, um, I guess I will. I don't think I have anything to catch it. The vicious crossbow would, if I were to hit it with that, it would be incinerated or something, right? <laughs> no, I mean, it's still just a crossbow. Okay. It's just a really, like, sharp crossbow. Alright, cool. Or, like, a really so strong I'll... crossbow, I guess. I'll try to quietly try and sh the rabbit. Alright, so first you'll have to make a stealth check, and then you'll have to make a uh, attack roll, basically. So d20 plus your 6. Alright, um, so stealth, 19. And then my... Sorry, what was the second one? Attack roll. Okay, cool. Thank you. Sorry. Oh man, that was a dick move I could have pulled there. No, don't do any dick moves. I almost want to, but you rolled good, so we're good. Yay. Um, yeah. No, you seem good. Cool. You, you stealthily, you, you were very stealthy. The... You took a good shot. Um, I, I'm not even going to make you roll, because any amount of damage will kill the rabbit, basically. Yay. So you basically uh, shoot it right through its little bunny face. Aww. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that one to you. <laughs> Yes, you shot it in its tiny bunny face. Hey, at least it, it ended up not being one of the, like, rabbits that try to eat dead. Surprise! The rabbit was a mimic! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> mimic on mimic go, violence! Uh, I'll feed the, the rabbit to the mimic. At least hold it off for now while I look for more stuff. It, it, it looks a little happier now. It, it feels content that you're at least trying to feed it. It also, uh, it, it, it's like licking the blood off of its teeth. He's a good boy. Keeping yourself nice and clean. That, that's the literal sound, you just... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm awful. Anyway, uh, okay. Alright, um, I guess as we're... Traveling, I'm gonna keep an eye out for more tracks and things that I could feed the mimic as we. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a d20, I guess. For actually, you probably gotta roll like eight of them. Okay, eight of them. All right. Um, with my survival rate. Yep. Or nature, whichever you choose to. signs everywhere of animals going in and out of the forest basically except for the last one but yeah basically for every hour of the day there's a chance for you to go out and get a get a, a prize for this mimic all right so those high ones can i roll yeah so now those high runs you're gonna have to roll a second d20 to track actually here's a problem though so every time you do that you actually have to roll a d100 because you're rolling an encounter chance, basically. <laughs> so wait, so how many of those should I... Eight D100, so you're doing one, because you said you didn't give a specific time, so I'm just assuming every hour or so you check to see if there's some food you can find for this mimic. Yeah. So. Mostly because that's how often the mimic's going to ask you to eat. <laughs> oh goodness, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Five, seven, eight. Oh, all right. 
So for the first trips, you're good. Let's say the first six trips, you're good to go. You uh, don't go run into anything. Now you gotta uh, basically roll a uh, 1d20 again with your survival bonus for each of those six. Four, five, six. <laughs> uh, so. Okay, so the first one, you're able to find another rabbit. Would you like to hunt the rabbit and try to kill it? Yes. Okay, so go ahead and, you know, make your attack roll and your sneak roll if you want to be sneaky about it so that it doesn't get its own initiative. Yes. All right, so, all right. First one, sneak. Not a very good sneak. But then I'll do the... Oh shit, <laughs> I killed that rabbit good. Yeah, you did, that was a dead rabbit. So that one actually, the arm fell off. Nice, okay, so I'll feed the rabbit to the mimic, and okay. then I'll try to look for stuff. Yep. Oh, I already did Yeah, that. you did already look for more stuff. Uh, you only found one in the fifth hour, the other ones you tried to look, and you went into the forest, but you weren't able to actually track down an animal. Before the group called you back and said, Stop wasting time! I'm sorry, but at least he fed twice. The uh, he, well, he fed once now, now you gotta hunt that other rabbit. So you gotta stealth and attack roll it. Okay. So you don't have to stealth roll, but the stealth roll is to make sure it doesn't get try to get initiative. So, mm -hmm. if, you so if you don't get the stealth roll, right. then it might run away before it sees you. Not very good. Uh, no. It saw you. Now you have to roll initiative. Roll my initiative? Okay. Yeah. Well, that was my attack. Okay. <laughs> uh, initiative would be... You will... Who's three? My initiative is 20, and my, um... Uh, you're good then, yeah. So you're still able to shoot it and hit it and kill it before it runs off. So I got it? Yes. Uh, you cool. did get it. So now you've got another rabbit. Cool. That you feed okay. to the mimic. So he's been fed a couple times today. He's actually seeming a little happier. He's, he's yeah. like, not frowning anymore. He's, he's not smiling, though. Aww. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, you went out again in the seventh hour. Mm -hmm. You uh, may or may not have come across something. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Roll a d100. Okay. Why isn't this grab to my thing? Okay. Sorry, give me one more second. I gotta look for the stupid encounter map. Well, while this is happening, probably Chloe's like... Yeah, you guys are literally just waiting. This is like the seventh time she went out hunting today for this mimic. She's just like... Well, no one's helping me. <laughs> Master's scared of the woods. It's and the true. Doesn't even... Halfling is very much concerned. The halfling's like, oh, I'm so done with this shit. I wouldn't say that entirely. She's just like, That's she just she fed that mimic. Yeah, but he seems unhappy. It seems like he's still hungry. Yeah, well, you do know eventually we're gonna have to, uh, now I think about it, but eventually we're gonna have to go into a town. And I don't think people take kindly to, never mind. A town means there's more food to find. <laughs> Not feeding him. God, okay, it was one. Thank goodness. Oh gosh. Hmm? You're oh. not feeding him the townsfolk. I didn't say it had to be townsfolk. Then what were you insinuating? That there's more food in town. 
that I don't have to hunt for. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying. But, but I mean, he, he's getting eating more and more increasingly. I mean, you fed him today, the other day. I mean, it has been getting bigger and bigger portions. Well, before I was feeding him large chunks of wolf, and he was eating full people. Now I'm feeding him small rabbits. It's understandable that he's hungry. All right. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to do a random, uh, random, random roll. Sorry, that's that's gonna be weird. Give me a moment. Uh -huh. Because uh, I was looking for tables, but 5e doesn't have random encounter tables. It shows you how to make your own, but they didn't pre-gen any of them at all. How dare they? Meanwhile, a small half-link is very concerned while stepping away from that the mag mm -mm. I get it, the, the portions and everything, but sheesh, he might turn in and make me look like food, look at me like I'm a metal wrapped food. Not if you help feed him. Is there any method to that madness? Everything, well, he's got to eat, <laughs> just like you do. Yeah, but you don't see me eating every, every hour. I usually have this one ready, but because it's nowadays it's all based on level, I can't get an actual one. <laughs> Just say I found another rabbit, haha. <laughs> yeah, technically could. Oh, there we go. We could just do that one. I know what's what I'm thinking of. Or it could be oh. a mockingbird that actually mocks you. I farts in your general direction. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it starts mocking, it's gonna get put to sleep, you know that, right? <laughs> I said, if the bird actually starts mocking, I'm going to kindly put it to sleep. And be, let it be fed and say, there, I helped. Go this. Yeah, this is not a good list. You know what? We're gonna borrow from the best D and D. There we go. Come on, where the fuck? This, these aren't random tales. I hate it when they you lie on the post. <laughs> Why would you lie on the post? do off of whichever numbers that we'll do three and then that cool fuck it we found a system that works second i need to save this page <laughs> sorry they made this way harder in this fucking version all right um dungeon 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 coastal we are in a forest Oh, yeah, and so you rolled that, so you found what appears to be a dire boar. Shoot you in the face. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, that she better. Uh... 
she's alone too in the forest. I hope she can outrun the boar, cause uh, <laughs> she's just like. I'm guessing some serious time has passed by, hasn't it? Not yet. She basically would have walked into the forest and found a boar. And be in trouble. Oh, yeah, I'll just like. Just avoid it. <laughs> I guess. Because I am alone. So, are you not going to fight it then? Mm. It's up to you. Waiting. No, not by myself. Because I okay. know Master is not going to come so, and help. In that case, you need to make a roll for stealth so that it doesn't see you. Stealth. It sees you. Yeah. Shoots in the face. Well, you gotta run. roll initiative. Uh, I just run. Can I, but can I run? Most, I mean, yeah, you can run. Into... I mean, it'll chase you probably for a while. Who knows? Maybe you can outrun it. Fine. I'll try and outrun it. I, I, was, like, I was like, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, okay, fine. I was trying out right. At least I'll, I'll try to get to the group so I'm not by myself. For me. <laughs> Alright, so, um, let's see. What do I need for running? Is it acrobatic? Or just like that's it? Like just run? You just run. You can run it right. about twice your, or three times your current speed, I think. I thought it was twice. It's one of the two. I thought you could hurry and do the run. Oh, that's right, because you got running and sprinting in this version. Whichever one is the fastest. I'll do that. <laughs> Running is just your full movement speed in one turn. Sprinting is twice your movement speed in one turn. Okay. So, yeah, you can sprint away from it. Let's see what it decides to do. It doesn't see the point in chasing after you. Yay. So you're back on the road. You've got another hour that you can choose to go back into the forest and search if you'd like. Otherwise, it's about the end of the day. Um, Chloe's definitely gonna be like, what the heck did you find in there? Nothing. <laughs> Just a really angry pig. <laughs> you know, angry boar. Maybe. It's all bacon to me. And with that, you've made it another two steps through the forest, which another day. Uh, and also having said that, you should basically at this point be about out of meat if you've been eating regularly every day to maintain uh, food stores. I guess I'll go to look again. And this time, Chloe's like, I'll join. Um, but I will. I had gone a nine. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's tracks around, but you're not very able to follow them. Um, can I try to roll? And we'll say that's about an hour's worth of survival check. Do you want me to roll? Uh, yeah, if you want to try to do a check as well. Mostly because it's basically the end of the night. It's that last hour. Oh, there you go. Looks like you got a crit, which is automatic win. You uh, see there are several trails to follow. Some for deer, some for an unknown animal, some for, like, rabbit or squirrel or a smaller animal. You can choose which of those to follow, and you will follow them effectively um, all the way to the animal. And she's just like, um, kind of re uh, gets Sam to come follow her while she goes and takes on maybe the deer. The deer. Okay, so you're going to take on the deer? Yeah. Right, the deer is to the south. You track it into the forest. Go ahead and roll D100. Ninety nine problems and that ain't one of them. Please tell me. Oh, it is a bad. 
Of course, 99 problems and has to be one of them. <laughs> and it's your ain't one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Someone completed that one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we got that. I'll take it. Poor Michael. <laughs> he probably is like, what the heck is You, this that is the highest roll you can possibly get. Because there is no 100 on a D. Well, I guess a D100 would roll 100, right? Because of the way computers yeah. work? Because yeah. a real D100 wouldn't. It would have zero as the number kind of out. Okay. But with that, uh, I can just cannot believe that you just did that. Uh, overhead, you, you feel a presence unlike any you've ever felt before. Uh, as you hear the very skies themselves being rent asunder by what you can only assume are giant wings. Oh, fucking. As you look into the sky, you see a giant, not size, but in, in a, a descriptor, not in the actual size of giant, red dragon flying overhead. Ah! I had to hope that it didn't see us. Oh, hell. She definitely just hides behind Sam. Alright, so I assume you guys are <laughs> trying to make a... You're gonna try to make some stealth checks then, I assume, right? Yes. <laughs> my stealth. Yep, and you see you it's really a big red dragon. I would all day. That 14. Okay, the 14. Please tell me this ain't gonna be my. Wait, what was the second D24? Uh, because I'm wearing armor. Please be. I mean. So that would have been. Do you get any pluses or bonus or minuses for your armor rolls? Or is that yeah, just your dex? Yeah, yeah. Is 18. So that yeah. should be fine. And then 14. So 14 for you both. Uh, let's see if he's paying attention. He's oh my not. god! Oh, oh no! 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 I don't die like that. That's oh, not how Oh man, I don't even know how to how do I like handle this? Like do you of course. Mean, can you even can you even like Alright, wait, no, wait maybe that's how I handle this. I'll go I'll look down and I, I think I need to tone it back a bit anyway. Let me count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. This is still not the greatest. But if they're 9 or 10 a page, at 45 a page, it's 450 divided by 100, oh, it's 45. Hell. Oh, shit. So it would be on the next page on the first one. God, so this okay, so it's not as bad. It's, it's actually a white dragon, so I have the right color on. Oh, gosh. Okay, I can actually listen. So let me. Uses my it's still, it's still. Uh, you still. Have, that's the other thing is remember you guys never check anything. Charisma. You didn't I check. I use my charisma check. Uh, give me a moment. I, Please, I need to double. I need to double check something. Uh, Please hold that. All right. Hopefully the 19 makes it so now. So it's still. Uh, yeah, it sees you friend. guys. It straight sees you guys. Hey, but I use my charisma on it. Hopefully. What are you, What are you gonna try to do? Are you just gonna look sexy? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I'm gonna look sexy and smile at it. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see how it does. And hope that it doesn't want to hurt. Us. Uh, it beat your check. Oh gosh! Please help the heck. We're not. <laughs> So that's still it's still we'll call it that. Okay. All right.
right. Uh, the dragon is flies basically closer to you because before it was not near enough to do anything necessarily. Um, but it is now, and yeah, uh, basically, Samira, make a wisdom saving throw. Oh dear gosh. Okay. So this can't be good. God damn it. <laughs> so you have just been affected by the dragon's frightful presence. Damn it. And uh, do I have to make a wisdom uh for a wisdom saving throw with advantage at least? Uh yes, you do. Actually are aren't you immune to No. No, I just advantage. just advantage, yeah. Alright, well good luck. Nineteen. Yes. Uh, that should be good. She's just lucky. Wait, just like what's the? Did you? Yeah. Did you roll two again? I rolled two uh, once with advantage. Oh, that's advantage right. That's right. Yeah, I forgot about it. It's like it's because you roll them as two d twenty. It fucks me up with the plus three at the end. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Twenty uh nineteen, uh, you resisted the fear, so you are not uh in you know fear, so you can actually do stuff. Meanwhile, if you are frightened at the moment and can't do anything, um, yeah. and actually uh not e currently, we'll say because we'll, I don't know, we'll say it took you maybe a little bit away from the main trail, but he definitely would have seen that dragon <laughs> as long as uh. As long as he's paying attention, how about that? So he'll have to make some passive rolls. Actually, yeah. I'm pretty sure he'd just notice a giant dragon flying through the goddamn sky. Yeah, I don't think anyone you know, can say that that's not, you know, that we can see. Oh, wait. Oh, Gabe, wait a minute. Never mind. Something messed up. I knew something was wrong. I knew that was wrong. All right, one second, guys. You shouldn't be fighting a dragon. Oh, wait. Huh. You still might be fighting a dragon. Give me a minute. A uh, dragon or a wormling? Because if it's a wormling, I think I can live. We're, we're looking now. I mean, the other thing being is you might not fight it at all because it might not have seen you in that case, which is what I was more concerned about. Yeah, let's just hope so it doesn't. Page it and doesn't. Half, which means we need to go back one page. I mean, so eh, unless someone threw page. something at it. Is this and I like really a cow? I didn't. All I did was right? smile and try to look pretty. <laughs> yeah. Max CR. Min CR. <laughs> Timmy, that is horribly Wait, is this... Type, what, why is it... No, I want it just in forest. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I'm like, why is that not... Also, we'll, we'll at least be nice and keep the max cap at that. Well, maybe that's how it'll be nice. That's how it'll be nice. Okay. We, we're going to make sure this isn't total fuckery on death. Because no one wants to die from a random dragon encounter. No! <laughs> Let's be honest. Even the, the, even the DM book is like, try not to kill him on the random encounters. Try to make deaths meaningful and interesting if you can. Yeah. Uh, all right, so one in die, one page, so we'll go one page back, and then up we up. Okay, you're not in as much trouble as uh <sighs> as, you, as you would have thought. My bad. Uh, the the fucking set. Like I said, this is why you use those encounters. Cause it, I was like, is an ancient red dragon even a forest monster? No. I'm like, why is this on the list? I mean, it was in some of them, or Green Dragon was a forest monster. But, yes. Which would come into the list, but it's not on this one's list, and it's not on the run I'm doing there, and I've limited it so that it doesn't feel like you're getting too terribly fucked. In fact, though, I might pull it up a little bit and see if that actually... Oh, damn it, I did it again. Ah, oh, dude, how do I do that? It is... I don't know why I keep hitting the reset filter button. It keeps fucking me up madly. Really, still 14. All right, yeah. So then, yeah, that makes more sense. And then with the 14 page, then it comes up to here. That actually does make sense. Oh. 
Because 1.4 is just above that, so that I could be a little down. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are in a little bit of luck. And we are all unanimously agreeing that I shouldn't be rolling next time, right? I mean, I didn't say that, but I was thinking it real loud. Because, like I said, my problem is trying to, like I said, once again, figure out the percentage rolls for this. Because you rolled a 99. And apparently 99 problems with a dear one. Oh, wait, that's what I, I did it wrong. God damn it, now I gotta see still what we're doing, right? I, I mean, I, I don't think we're getting a dragon still, but it's gonna be better than what I was... Okay, so... It's, Seven, no eight. So, yeah. God damn it! My brain is not working on that. It's fourteen. That's how much it is. It's fourteen for each ten. So each one percent is still just one. Or, or two max okay but that is actually works way better it works way better in the theme and you guys don't necessarily just die straight up because that would have been a hundred or these two so 99 of these oh actually all right so that's how we'll, we'll swing it what? it is a green dragon oh fucking no, 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 no. however well, that's it's gonna be on you to learn more about it. It is a it is a green dragon. Of course it is. It is. I can't make it any smaller than that, so that's how big it looks. But great, great. I I need this in my life. And you know, like I said, see what's going on. You don't. You never know what's up. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't think of us as lunch. Uh, first things first, though, I needed to check that again, so I gotta redo some rolls. So first, he's flying overhead. He definitely still sees you, though. He's He would've saw you with the old roll. That is also a good question, and it might have. Let's see. Uh, last time he made pretty good. Nope, sorry. Ah, he's back. Hey, welcome back. Speaking of, I got another. Yeah. Ooh, actually, we're probably gonna have to send it. So it does uh, see you, and it does, uh, you know, still come at you, but it does not. Uh, it does not fear you. Okay. Helpful. What about my charisma thing? That that didn't work now. Damn it. <laughs> Chloe's downright like not that. This is not my day. Clearly, I, I think we should have just not. Uh, you know what? But we could always stop it here and start it on the next one. Yeah, maybe. Because, I mean, it is a dragon fight. It's probably going to take a while to do anything with. The, the, yeah, best, uh, the best guess here, I'm going to just put it out there, might be to run away. Yeah, I, I, I totally would agree with that. <laughs> totally. All right, can we at least see if we ran away from it? Before? Yeah, you can try to run away. So uh, basically, you're going to try to run. How are you going to try to run? Because currently, you guys are in the forest. He's basically seen you and dropped down in a clearing. He's like flying overhead just above the tree line. Uh, oh, actually, that's what we have to do is roll initiative. <sighs> you might not get a go first. Damn it. 18. This is definitely the time to get a good initiative roll. If you have inspiration points, this is what you actually save them for. <laughs> this and the actual rolls to, like, hide from it. Those would have been the rolls to save initiative points for. Or inspiration, sorry. Uh, you guys actually did, as far as I can tell, because I don't see it having any pluses to it, uh, beat the dragon in, in initiative. So, you get to yeah. do it first. Yeah, get the fuck out. Here, I'm gonna get, get out of dodge. Yeah, we're getting yeah, yeah. out of dodge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. Awesome. So, where, how are you doing that? I need specifics. We can always do it like we do for alligators. <laughs> yeah, but he saw said you're, he you're said in the forest. He's, he's a, a dragon. You haven't really taken too much of a look at him, so you just know he's a dragon. Mm hmm. 
just said uh, it's for some Sam's turn though. So I get it. Not yet. So what 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 you doing, Sam? Uh, damn it. I don't know, it's the first time I've ever, the first day I've ever ran away from <laughs> Uh, let's see. Is there a way I could run and try to hide in a way? Yeah, you can try to run in stealth, or stealthily run. Which way are you running? Are you running back towards the road? Are you running into the forest, into the clearing, into the trees? Where are we headed? So basically, the dragon's coming from the south into the clearing, which you guys would have found the deer in. Basically, you were chasing the deer through their clearing. Just a small clearing, you know, maybe 20 feet. <laughs> and then you guys are probably right about here, maybe a good half mile off of the road. Or sorry, probably a good two miles off of the road to the south. I guess probably you don't want to be in the road, and I don't want master in trouble with the dragon so I'm probably going to stay around as much as in the trees and the bush and or if I find some rocks or something like that alright so you're just kind of trying to run into the forest in general and yeah okay alright and uh, you're going to need to you can run which is going to take basically your full movement mm -hmm. but then you're going to try to hide which you can uh, make a stealth roll for ooh 21 that is pretty good not good enough damn it yeah, really? yeah he sees you it's a um, dragon I don't know what they taught you about dragons in school <laughs> but they didn't teach me about dragons in school so I don't know <laughs> But uh, that would make it uh, your turn. You did run, though, so you are now about 60 feet into the woods. You have to sprint to do extra movement, but the problem is with sprinting, I think you get a couple times of that, and then you are, like, having to move less than regular speed. Mm -hmm. Maybe not that. Uh, uh, yeah, so... I think it's, like, fine. four times. Hello? Hello. Welcome back. What did you um, miss? Everything. Fucking everything. This is like, why I thought this is why typing. <laughs> this is why typing was on my list of things. Basically you caught the eye of green dragon. Yeah, because apparently I rolled a 99. <laughs> and the joke has been rolling in. Yeah. So well, to nice. be fair, uh, we started off and uh, the tables were messed up because I couldn't find any good encounter tables for 5e. Mm -hmm. So I had to basically scratch one together from some generators, etc. And uh, <laughs> so at first it fucked up and didn't put the limit on the terrain. So you were going to end up fighting an ancient red dragon. <laughs> yeah, no. That's cool. Not oh, you either, in specific. It actually would have just been uh, Chloe and Samira because they went off hunting. Of course. Which, of course it had to be me. Which is a reminder of why hunting can be dangerous. Yeah. Um, I, I, I can miss the bullshit. Oh, uh, it's still going. They, so here's, like I said, this was all confusion. So there went that. Like I said, we figured out, all right, that wasn't right. I was like, that just doesn't sound right. So I got the thing working. Uh, we thought, oh, maybe we won't be fighting a dragon. You're, it's still a dragon. It's just a green dragon. Yeah. But uh, so far now they're trying to uh, kind of hide and run from it. They failed earlier, and when we were when we thought it was a red dragon, we got all the way through the frightful presence step. So uh, Samira was basically frightened and petrified, and Chloe was not, and that was about to be the situation when they both got burned to death. <laughs> Because yeah. that's exactly what it would have happened if that was an ancient red dragon, and no one wants I to mean, die to her. Dragons are intelligent creatures. You should be able to speak with them and reason with them. You yeah, can, can for some of them, but remember that a young, that a, uh, that a uh, green, red, or any of the uh, those colored dragons are lawful evil most of the time. And try to look cute and smile at it. So you can like you can try to reason with it, but don't forget it has better perception than you most of the time. It has better charisma, better con, better dex. 
All of its bonuses are, even for weak dragons, are usually way above your stats. Like I said, yeah. they've been rolling. She rolled a 21 to hide. Guess who didn't hide from the dragon? The 21? Yeah. That's, that's, that's nice. That's Bring the dragon to me. Let me talk to the dragon. It'll be a fun dragon. Yeah, let's not do that to the whole group today. No, no, yeah. no. Bring, bring the dragon to me. Let me talk to the dragon. As long as we don't go into a fight scene. Gonna get yeah, that sounds about right. I don't care. But the thing is, um, this is a little out two, of here. You also got about two miles until they get to you. Yeah. Well, and run fast. And keep in mind, it's all forest. Run fast. I said bring them to me. I ain't coming to you. I ain't going to that fucking forest. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love I stuff. love this character because his character's like, bring it, dragons, no problem. Trees, no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. We live and die on this hill. Exactly. So uh run and run fast. Don't trip. Don't Michael just... Myers the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches always be tripping over nothing. Oh gosh. Um. Yeah, I know. I mean, I did trip earlier. I mean, you've already. She's already. Got so uh, that still makes it Chloe's turn. Yeah, that that Samira tripping in the road. That was the last thing I was a part of. Yeah. That was funny. She found some rabbits, uh, and then she encountered a dire boar and had to run off. Because she was alone in the woods. Yeah. Never go alone in the woods. That's what I was thinking, but no one went with her. Because you were, you know, dead to the world. Basically, you were invoked by your spirit to another plane of dimension. Yeah, who knows? You got drunk. Fuck knows. You know, but nobody else knows. Why the fuck you yeah. You weren't going in, and neither was... Yeah, let's be honest. You weren't going in the I, trees I, I anyway. If I had someone with me, I would have gone with the trees. You just would have been very not happy about it. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, yeah, God, I really want to go, but we gotta wrap this up pretty quick. Here. All right. Uh, okay, okay. So yeah, she's going to book it. Like nope. All right. So you're gonna, you're just gonna straight run through the trees. Yep. Nope. I didn't sign up for this. I guess. I guess. Alrighty, so you just run through the trees. Make yeah. it. A, we'll say that that's tough terrain, so what do you get half movement speed? As if a halfling doesn't already have full speed already. Are you at half? I thought you weren't encumbered yet. I said halfling. I mean, yeah, you got what twenty-five feet. Yeah. Oh, so then yeah, you get to move ten feet. <laughs> Oh no, you round up 15 feet. Uh, and actually, I forgot, Samira, you also only move whatever half of your movement speed because it's through rough terrain. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the dragon's flying overhead. <clears throat> and... So it's going to fly o overhead and uh, it's going to breathe uh, basically poison breath at you. <laughs> Of course it is. Uh, luckily for you, you are covered by the trees. <laughs> so, oh, gosh. But you do hear, uh, you know, just uh, the loud hissing of <laughs> poisonous gas being exhaled. Oh. Run faster. Hold on to them. So what are, you, what are you guys doing next? I guess we're running towards Valium. <laughs> My suggestion <laughs> would be to split up. Unless you t plan on fighting it. <laughs> also, which way did you try to run, Chloe? Which way did Which way did Samara run? Uh, do you, did you check? You gotta check to see which way she ran. <laughs> I guess passive perception will just count that as passive. Uh, she seemed to run like south. Yeah, she ran that way. Since she's like, nah, I didn't sign up for it. If I go do it, I'm dealing with hat frack. No, 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 no. So you're going south as well? Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. So they are running away from the road. Which means the dragon is chasing them this way. 
right. And uh, Michael, if you want, you can roll passive perception to see if you see this dragon, but <laughs> it is about two miles away, so it's probably not happening. That's funny because I see it on my map. I mean, you would, but that's because they can see it. Stop using your party privileges. I will blind you. <laughs> There's my perception. 13. No, oh, yeah, you get no pluses. Ah, yeah, no. You just see forest. <laughs> Fucking trees. Goddamn trees. Yeah, you got to think about that, too. You're basically surrounded by trees anyway. <laughs> so unless you climb into the top of a tree or some shit, you're probably not seeing him. Did the mimic see the <laughs> Let me check. Nope, mimic didn't crit. <laughs> mimic is looking at Valios hungrily, though. <laughs> Look elsewhere, you stupid treasure box. It doesn't speak random garbage. No, it's... <laughs> oh, wait, that's sorry. It only speaks random garbage. <laughs> I glare at it menacingly. Are you trying to intimidate it? <laughs> it's like, am I? <laughs> do you really want to? <laughs> mm, do I really want to take that negative four? Even if you're bad, I mean, you just start a fight with the random mimic for no reason. Fine. <laughs> Wait, what is your alignment right now? Neutral good. That's right. So yeah, you wouldn't just start random fights with mimics. Maybe but I'm gonna clear it massively. All right, that's fine. The mimic's not smart enough to understand that. It just smiles at you hungrily again. <laughs> it's like happy, but like hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, it's too stupid to love. No, <laughs> I swear this is gonna be the last fucking Eyes and slander. Why has no one named this thing? No one has named I it. I don't know, because it's Sam! This, this card, this card, uh, like I said, I'm just, I'm gonna have to get the characters. There's a couple characters that need to be done in this one for sure. Catharsis is one once I ever figure out what the fuck he looks like. Two, I just okay. I want to see the mimic with the bartender and Samira. Just and when I say with the bartender, I mean with like his arm sticking out of the mimic's mouth. <laughs> just, I'm gonna get all these done. Well, zero. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Negative four, dude. Yeah, you definitely uh intimidate. You know that mimic, even if it was smart enough to understand it, it wouldn't have. All right. Uh, what what are we doing, girls? They sure are taking a long time. I'd go uh, find them to fuck these trees. Uh, yeah, I, uh, she's I don't just have like, my abilities. My Maybe I should start the forest off. Because then we could just transform into hopefully some maybe much. Uh, this can't be good. It's going. Damn it. Why can I been a Titan? Um I decided to start chopping down a random tree. Oh gosh, don't. Um I might try using If I wanted to use something like a or something like that to make it said, look at your spells. Is there anything that maybe helps you in this situation? I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> <sighs> you're, like I said, you're lucky that the rolls on this one are actually. Once I switch the table, this is actually maybe not a, like a winnable encounter, but this is manageable. <laughs> Like Michael said, this thing is smart, too. You could try to yell at it. It's actually smarter just, than you guys. Just let me talk to the damn thing. Just get it here. You know, I mean, I, I wonder what he's going to say to it. <laughs> I'm curious now. But, yeah, they're running the other way. Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe they should uh, kind of split off from each other and make, like, a little U-shape to run back towards the fucking road where I'm at. Don't... Look at me. What do, you, what do you want me to say? Damn, I really just need to invest in that. That is just the smartest thing to do. Am I not done that yet? That, that is already, what is that, a month? Jesus, it's like month, maybe two. 
No, 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 not that. Another thing. Anyway, um. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for. Some, I'm debating if I want to use one of my. I'm. I'm. I, I yep. I. What would work against the stupid dragon? How about we don't fight it? I don't, I don't want to fight it. I think she's looking for something to help her run, but I think you mostly yeah. have combat abilities and spells because Michael <laughs> set your I shit up. Misty step. I have Misty step. Yeah, Misty that's step's saying, pretty like. good. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yeah, that's the only thing I could do that might help me. Okay. I mean, you have a scroll of Misty step. I do, but I'm saving that for when I don't have oh. Misty step. <laughs> what? You also have a uh, Misty step. You have no, you do. Oh. I'm saying that you're saving it for when you don't have it in your spell oh, list. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say is another spell or two spells that could help you here. Hint, hint. Cough from your DM. You have Fog Cloud and Slow. Yeah, I was actually you, looking at Slow. Both of which uh -huh. uh, are not bad. Hmm. They're about the same thing. They're a little different in effect. So fog is to reduce vision, slow is to reduce speed. Basically. Mm -hmm. But if I use the fog cloud, would it actually... Because I had the 21 and it still saw, saw me. Well, you didn't have the fog increasing and giving you advantage on your roll, did you? Or disadvantage on his check. That's the kind of things that fog and other things do. And actually... Uh, D&D &D actually has fog rules, I think. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure. Fog cloud, yeah. Yeah, that's why I was, I was like, <laughs> I'm like, hold on, give me stupid abilities. I knew there had to be something. have blindness deafness you do the thing about blindness deafness and this is why i suggested the other one as opposed to that one mm -hmm. blindness deafness uh is a uh saving throw with your thing as a thing the the dragon has excellent have saving throws the other one is not a saving throw that just creates obscured vision Okay, cool. And uh, I was looking at yes, but it's up to you. Uh, slow is the same way uh, in the other direction that uh, the, the dragon can save against slow, so slow is less effective than a yeah. uh, fog cloud, maybe? It just depends. It's all about how you use them and things, because like, it used to be that certain dragons didn't even get affected by magic in the old one, and this one it's a little different in certain ways, but yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, I think I'll You definitely off. have a dragon bearing down on you, though, so you gotta choose. You're gonna fog? Yeah. So what yeah, do you want to do with fog? Maybe the other ones just in case. Um, I got a quick question out of game. Sure. Is it a adult dragon, or are we talking like a young one? You never looked and checked. You yeah, just, you panicked and ran and never yeah. took a second to do a passive perception kind of well, thing, or... I guess you gotta do a little more than Rihanna. passive perception, but, yeah. Really? 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 You just ran? You didn't try talking to it? No, uh, I'm using my charisma To be it. fair, it hasn't tried talking either. I mean, to be fair, who hmm. knows Draconic in this group? I don't think the halfling does. I know Draconic. You know that dragons Here's are really answer. smart enough to speak common, right? Yeah, no, I'm just giving, I'm giving sass. There you go. Anyway. Just, just, just bring the dragon to me. <laughs> I, well, first I'll try the fog, this cloud, to see if, um, he could lose track of where we are. And then I'm gonna try to maybe backtrack or something like that in a different direction. So wait, what are we doing here? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna use the fog cloud and change. So you're using like what he said, using huh? Yeah. Sorry, you keep cutting out for me. You're using fog cloud to do what? Yeah, I'm using fog cloud to so the dragon can't see. All right, so 
where I'm going. So what are you doing? You create a 20 foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point within range. So where within are you putting a fog? 120. Yep. It spreads around corners until the area is heavily obscured and lasts for the duration or until wind of moderate or greater speed, at least 10 miles per hour, disperses it. So you use, yeah, the fog cloud towards the direction, like basically just surrounding me, I guess. So you're going to surround yourself with the fog cloud? Yeah, and then um, so that's I can go a different direction. Okay. Okay, so as soon as you set Fog Cloud on yourself, the area becomes, uh, sorry, yep, the area becomes heavily obscured, so you cannot see basically anything in front of you. But, but I did backtrack. So you're going to backtrack and then put it where you were? Or are you going yeah. to cause so fog on yourself and then backtrack? So th this is why, like I said, it's important for the details to know what you're doing. Okay. So what what are you doing first? Well, I can't see if I have fog cloud on myself, right? No. All right, so then I'll use fog cloud towards the direction that I was going in. Okay. And then use... Um, and then try to see if I could sneak around a different direction. Okay, so just letting you know, that is fine, but that will not give you any bonuses to stealth. Damn it. Huh. Yep. <laughs> and how far was she for when she did the, um, I spell? Myself, so I just want I mean, what you could do is you could cast fog clouds centered on the green dragon and then backtrack towards the road where I am. Just saying. Oh, I could do that? Okay, yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so what level are you casting fog cloud as? Um, First level spell, second level spell, or third level spell? Shit, I want that shit to not see me at all, so I'll use it. I want to lose that shit. So, the highest level, I'm guessing? Yeah. Okay. So that means that you have a 60-foot cloud sphere that is now centered on the dragon. This will encompass that dragon. So the whole dragon is covered in the clouds, or the fog. And now you should get a bonus or an advantage to your stealth check. So that actually it wouldn't give you an advantage, it would give him a disadvantage. It's weird how some of those work, but yeah. So go ahead, roll your stealth check. Yep. 15. Uh, you, uh, you are successful, at least, well, you wouldn't know, but you are successful in basically shaking him off as he is currently trapped in the fog cloud. Yay. He has also lost sight currently, at least, of Chloe, uh, and he goes after both of you, so now it's Chloe's turn. As you, I, like you said, you backtrack, so you went back, and he would be basically under him now, or a little behind him. Let's go with a little bit behind. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, definitely realize I'm going the wrong direction, and definitely all the thoughts will be, you know. Okay. And, and then, yeah, kind of hide. Turn around, do a U-turn, and kind of hide. You're going to try to stealth as well? Mm-hmm. All right, and you're just going to hide, right? Yeah. All right, so go ahead and make your stealth check. You're so lucky. <laughs> well, maybe not yet. Yeah, there you go. The 12? I mean, no, the 10. You should still... Oh, wait, yeah, you might not have got it still. So wait, it's a 10? Yeah, I mean, not unless oh, I had to buy the tree. It doesn't matter, actually. Currently, because you were just stealth hiding for now, you're going to have to make another rule next turn, so I don't know why I did that. Because I forgot, even on the other one, uh, so will Diffy, because currently he actually can't see you guys at all, because he's in heavily obscured vision, so you don't actually have to make a stealth roll because you're obscured. But it is now his turn, and he is going to try to blow the uh, smoke away from him using his wings. 
Uh, what's this strength mod? Da, 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 da. We'll say that that's probably enough. I mean, he is a dragon. He is a dragon, after all. I mean, dragon. But uh, he looks around a little confused, and he's going to make his search checks. Ugh. Now he doesn't have disadvantage, but he crit failed one, and he thought he saw something, and he flew off this way. And the other one, he rolled three, so he still wouldn't have saw you. But yeah, he, he crit failed, so luckily for you guys, he looked toward the uh, southwest, and he's just like, oh, hey, look, I think that's them, and he just flies that way. And you Yay. see him breathing poison that way. <laughs> Well, aren't you all fucking lucky? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, there's, like I said, there's a reason why I said these are somewhat manageable. Because, for instance, right, uh, even and let, granted that one was a crit fail, so I probably would have anyway for any of them. But if this were the ancient red dragon or whatever, there's the, he would have never lost you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think he's even immune to some of the spell effects like fog and obscured vision and shit. So he's he would have never lost you, and he would have murdered you in one breath. <laughs> And his initiative uh, would have been stupid high on the first attack. So I was like, no. Luckily, that was a young green dragon. And they don't have nearly as much power or buffs for a lot of their shit. So luckily for you guys, for you got away. Good job. I mean, she's master, like, hopping about me. <laughs> Definitely, yep, she's breathing a sigh of relief and uh, just, like, kind of collapses, like, you I guess she's just like, I'm good. I'm good for and today. I think, uh, I think with that one, we will call it a, uh, a session, because I gotta get to bed. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I think we did good job. We made it some distances, we did some things, did, found some rabbits, and ran from a dragon, and got beat up by something in the middle of the night. <laughs> Dragons, oh look, a forest, angry bacon. Good, make them slow travel, lol. <laughs> you friend the boar. <laughs> yes, dashing. Dashing is now sprinting, which is crazy. Yeah, that's Tank who joined. Yeah. So I'm deep. I'm just sighing and saying, yeah. nope, I didn't sign up for that. Okay. All Next right. time, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs>